Have you ever seen a sector so hot that even AI looks like yesterday's news? Because right now, quantum computing is breaking out. In the last 12 months, some quantum stocks haven't just doubled. They haven't just tripled. They've soared as high as 2,710%. That's the kind of return you usually see in crypto bull markets, not publicly traded tech companies. But here's the twist. While retail investors are rushing in, while Wall Street is hyping the future, the insiders, the people closest to the technology, are quietly walking toward the exit. And not small exits. Not casual selling. I'm talking about $749 million worth of insider selling from the four biggest pure-play quantum computing companies. What if I told you that the hottest sector in tech right now, quantum computing, flashed a $749 million red warning, and it didn't come from analysts, hedge funds, or bears on Twitter? No. This warning came from the insiders. The people building the technology. The people supposedly leading the revolution. The people who know IonQ, Rigetti, D-Wave and Quantum Computing Inc. better than anyone else. And they're not buying. They're selling. Today we're diving deep into why these quantum computing pure play stocks after surging between 260% and 2,710% in 12 months may be sending Wall Street a completely different message than the hype suggests. And later in the video, I'll connect this to NVIDIA's massive physical AI bet and explain how quantum computing fits into the $30 trillion robotics future. This is a big one. So sit tight, stay focused, and let's break down the reality behind the headlines. Disclaimer. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. Always do your own research before making investment decisions. Before we dive in, please take a second to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and also subscribe. Please help this video to get at least 500 likes. It really helps to support the channel and keeps us bringing you the latest market insight. Thank you. Artificial intelligence has taken 2025 by storm. Let's be honest. AI has been the fuel behind almost every major stock index breaking new all-time highs this year. The hype is huge, the expectations are huge, and the addressable market is frankly insane. But here's the twist most people miss. AI is not the only reason investors are excited. Because right next to AI is something even more mysterious, more complex, and potentially more powerful, quantum computing. And when we talk about quantum, we're not talking about niche science projects or decade-away dreams. We're talking about real companies with real machines already on the market and investors have been piling in aggressively. Companies like IonQ up 10.67%. Rigetti Computing is 10.95%. G-Wave Quantum up 11.50%. Quantum Computing Inc. up 10.01%. They're trailing 12-month returns between 260% and 2,710% as of November 7th. Let that sink in. This is the kind of performance meme stocks wish they had. But here's where the story turns. Even though the market is going crazy for these companies, the insiders, the executives, directors, and 10% shareholders are dumping nearly three quarters of a billion dollars worth of shares. So let's explore what's really going on. What exactly is quantum computing and why the hype? Let's slow down the pacing here and break it into simple English. A quantum computer is not just a faster computer, it's a different species of machine. Classical computers, even supercomputers, use bits zeros and ones. Quantum computers use qubits, which can be zero, one, or both simultaneously, thanks to quantum mechanics. What does that mean? It means quantum machines can run millions of calculations at the same time, calculations that would take classical computers years, or maybe be impossible altogether. Real potential uses? Better weather prediction. Faster AI training. Advanced cybersecurity. Chemical simulations. Materials, science, financial modeling. 
optimization problems. These are not science fiction. These are real use cases. And that's why consulting giants like Boston Consulting Group estimate that quantum computing could create $450 billion to $850 billion in economic value by 2040. Now, yes, it's smaller than the $15.7 trillion global AI market estimate from PwC, but still big enough to produce future giants. And we're already seeing the early signs. Amazon's Bracket and Microsoft's Azure Quantum allow customers to access IonQ and Rigetti hardware. That's massive because it shows integration, not isolation. Real testing. Real development. Real world uses. And naturally investors see this and think, OK, maybe this is the next NVIDIA. Maybe this is the early stage of what GPUs were in 2015. And so they buy in aggressively. But then something weird happens. Let's address the elephant in the room. If quantum computing is this exciting, if these companies are the future, if the next trillion dollar revolution is here, then why are the insiders selling, and not small amounts? We're talking about massive sustained insider liquidation over the last 12 months. Ion Q, $446.5 million in net insider selling. Rigetti is $45.6 million. D-Wave Quantum. $224 million. Quantum Computing Inc., $33.2 million. Total insider selling was about $749 million. And here's the scarier part. Rigetti, zero insider buying. D-Wave, zero insider buying. Quantum Computing Inc., zero insider buying. The only insider who bought shares was a single IonQ director, just 2.03 million. Compare that to the nearly 750 million in selling. Now, insider selling is not always bearish. Executives sell for many reasons. Like taxes, compensation packages, portfolio diversification, personal reasons. But insider buying only happens for one reason. They expect the stock to go up. And right now the message is loud and clear. Insiders are not buying the hype. If you're enjoying these market insights and finding them helpful, please take a moment to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you. Let's take a look at valuation problems and bubble warnings. Let's shift gears into analysis mode. Quantum stocks today are trading at outrageous price-to-sales ratios many well above 30. And historically, any company with a price-to-sales ratio over 30 on future technology that isn't widely adopted yet, eventually pulls back. Every. Single. Time. We saw it with 3D printing stocks, solar startups, EV newcomers, genomic stocks, SPAC mania. High PS ratios, plus early stage hype, usually ends in the same place. A bubble burst. And even if you look two to four years into the future, sales projections still keep these quantum companies far above reasonable valuation thresholds. But the market doesn't care yet. Because IonQ reported $39.9 million in quarterly revenue, up 222% year over year. D-Wave reported $3.7 million up 100%. Those growth rates fuel the fire. But insiders selling $749 million worth of stock, that's a different kind of fire. While quantum stocks soar, another revolution is brewing behind the scenes. Physical AI. Robotics. Humanoid machines. Real-world automation. NVIDIA calls its initiative Project Cosmos the company's bet that humanoid robots and physical AI could represent a $30 trillion industry in the coming decades. This makes the current AI boom look small. But here's where the connection matters. Quantum computing could play a major role in robot vision, decision-making, real-time optimization, environmental mapping, or machine efficiency. NVIDIA is the obvious leader, but the industry is so big that smaller companies are carving out specialized niches. 
one company smaller than NVIDIA, whose tech helps robots see and make split-second decisions. That's important because quantum computing, AI, robotics are not separate revolutions. They are merging. Quantum accelerates AI. AI runs robots. Robots reshape trillion-dollar industries. So here's the takeaway. While insiders are dumping quantum stocks in the short term, long term, quantum computing will almost certainly become part of the AI robotics ecosystem. But the question for investors is, is this the right time to buy? Or is this sector in a hype bubble that needs to correct first? If you're watching quantum computing stocks, here are the real indicators to monitor, not the hype. First is insider buying. If insiders start buying millions worth of shares, sentiment has shifted. 2. Revenue growth versus cash burn. Many quantum startups burn tens of millions per quarter. Watch their cash runway. Next is partnerships with real enterprise clients. Amazon Bracket and Azure Quantum are good signs. More deals like this matter. Another thing to watch is PS ratio compression. If these stocks fall to realistic multiples, they become real opportunities. Next is government contracts. Defense, energy and research institutions will be major quantum customers. Six is hardware breakthroughs. New qubit designs, lower error rates or new architectures can be game changers. Right now, quantum computing is exciting, innovative and full of potential but also expensive, speculative, and heavily insider-sold. A balanced perspective is key. Quantum computing may very well reshape the future of AI, robotics, medicine, and materials science. But the market today is signaling caution, not because the technology is weak, but because expectations may be years ahead of reality. Nearly $749 million in insider selling is not a small data point. It's a message. But so are the breakthroughs happening behind the scenes. This is a sector where fortunes will be made, but timing matters. If you enjoyed this deep analysis and want more breakdowns of AI, robotics, quantum technology, and future-driven investments, make sure you like the video. Drop a comment with the next stock you want analyzed. Subscribe for more weekly research-based content and share this video with someone who invests in emerging tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.